Hi, my name is Leanne Manzer. I'm a staff member at the York University Astronomical Observatory. In this video, I'll be talking to you about how to use the 40 centimeter telescope for solar observing. Uh, as per the, the introductory video, I have removed the cover from the 40 centimeter, the dome is open, and the sun is streaming in. So now we can start by observing the sun. So the first thing I want to po point your attention to are these covers that have stayed firmly on the telescopes. Uh, on this, the front one, it says, don't ever remove this color for solar observing. We don't actually use this big 40 centimeter telescope to look at the sun. We use the guide scope that's on the top of the telescope that has this lovely solar filter attached. This solar filter only allows a small percentage of the light to come through and therefore are allowed to study the sun. Again, the, the finder scope way in the back here also has its cover on. So make sure that all three covers stay on throughout this whole process. So the next thing we want to do is actually point the telescope at the sun. So to move the telescope, you'll want to use the hand paddle uh, and then press the north, south, east, west buttons on slew speed in order to get the, the telescope in the general area of where the sun is. After you have the telescope in the general area, you want to use a method called the, the shadow method. So here you can see, if I put a white piece of paper down, you can see the shadows from the guide and finder scope reflecting down onto this white piece of paper. What you want to do is move the telescope in order to minimize those shadows as much as possible. You want the light to come straight down and cast very clear shadows down on the white piece of paper. So I'll do that. So once you have the telescope in the general area, close enough to the sun, you'll want to actually connect the webcam to, to the computer over there, and then we can make finer adjustments to where the sun is. So if you've done the shadow method correctly, you should see the sun right in the center of the screen. But if you're anything like me, you're going to need a little bit more work. So with your partner over, over there holding up the white piece of paper, you can continue to minimize the shadow from the finder scope. You also want to be looking at the, uh, the screen over here to see when the sun comes in. So if I'm going to do that, I can move the telescope and I see the sun appearing quite clearly. So my sun is a little bit blurry. This means it's out of focus. So you'll want to adjust the focus knob over here until you get the sun nice, crisp and clean and in focus. So you see here. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that the, the sun uh, fills up the entire thing. It should fill up uh, most of the screen of the webcam, so I know it's, it's quite in focus and it, it's, it's centered quite well. Uh, you also want to determine the directions of, uh, your, that, that are shown on this image. So by pressing the north button, you can see which way the telescope moves and which way the image moves. This gives you the direction of north in your image. Then by pressing the east button, you'll see which way the, the sun moves and this will give you the east direction. This is very important when you're trying to do your calculations for the sun. You'll need to do this. So after it's, you get it centered, you'll want to take your images um, as described by your professor and in your project handbook. Um, and after that, after all your images have been taken, you want to save them to your USB key or email them to yourself. You want to make sure they're removed from the observatory as we cannot confirm that they will stick around for very long. So once you have those in, in your hand, you want to move the telescope back into its parked position. You want to turn off the telescope, cover it up, close up the dome, make sure every, all the lights are off, and you can return the key to 128 Petrie. 